Hi, this is Rob Bolaños. This is a simulation using the FRA feature of uh, Top Spice. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate how to verify the Middlebrook uh, criteria. The Middlebrook criteria says that the output impedance looking uh, at the output end of the input filter. Here is your input filter. You have your power supply coming in, inductor, and then you have your uh, capacitors and your damping capacitors here. So, Middlebrook criteria says that this impedance looking at from here out or in should be much lower than the impedance of the flyback itself. Okay, so how do we do that? basically what we want to do is we'll take a plot of the output impedance of the input filter and then take an impedance plot of the input impedance of the flyback and the way we do it is we can break this line here and we can insert right there we can insert a voltage source which is this it's a sine wave and the sine wave I for the time being I set it to one amp or I'm sorry one volt with a frequency of one kilohertz okay and I inserted a F1 which measures the current through here basically the current going through the stimulus and then that gets multiplied by one and it develops a current through here and I'm terminating it with one amp so basically this note will give you a readout in volts that is actually a representation of amps and then this would be your voltage so voltage divided by current will give you impedance or ohms so we have this set up and I'm gonna go ahead since I disconnected this this is the input uh, to the flyback I'm gonna go ahead just for right now I'm gonna ground it okay and I'm interested in the output impedance of the input filter okay okay it's been close to five minutes it's coming to the end of the simulation uh, using the FRA in transit does take a little bit of time but I believe it's uh, a well worth uh, simulation to run in order to check your impedances and it should stop at about at 100 kilohertz Okay, so here you go. So this is the the impedance of the uh, the input filter. Okay, you can see that it resonates, has a peak at around. Uh, let me say, I would say by symmetry, I would say about 2.7 kilohertz. Okay, now mind you, this is an db ohms I'm gonna go ahead and save this save let me clear everything out and I'll save that plot okay I'll go ahead and close it okay so now what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and let's see where's my there it is so I disconnect that underground this and then I'll go ahead and ground turn that connect that there ready and I think we're ready oh let me see 
Yeah, I believe I'm ready. So I will go ahead and press run. Oh, uh, one little mistake. Okay. Okay, since I'm measuring the input impedance of the flyback, I have to power it. So the voltage or the current is going to go flow through here. So I have to connect a voltage source here because I'm not powering anything. Okay. So I'll go ahead and put a voltage source here. Set it to 12. Ready. And same configuration. Press run. Okay, so now we have this frequency. This is the the input impedance of the uh, flyback, and I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the previous. Let's say, hang on. I'll go to history, and I add the trace from the input filter. Okay, and then I'll delete the phases, and here you go. You can disregard this here. Okay, this are well noise points, I would think. But here is your output impedance, or actually the input impedance of the flyback, and this is the output impedance of the input filter okay so you have quite a bit of separation so as long as the impedance of your filter is much lower than the input impedance of the flyback then you're fine anyway that's the way you do it if you have any questions you can email them to my uh, uh, website or email address posted here on my uh, channel. Thank you for watching.